Welcome, everybody, to Unfiltered. Pastor David, welcome. Thank you, John. A uh, question, Pastor. What do you think about pastors that have publicists? Pastors with publicists. Well, one, there are, there are pastors who have publicists. There, there are people, for those who wouldn't know what that question means, there, there are pastors who have hired somebody as a staff member or perhaps as somebody outside of the church who had tasked with the, with the responsibility of making their ministry and themselves known to the world. And so they're, they're the ones who are advertising. They're the ones who are uh, making book deals. They're the ones who are getting them on radio or TV, and they do it for a commission normally. And they're doing it because they, uh, they want themselves and their ministry to be known. What do I think of that on a personal level? Um, I guess it would depend on whether or not the humility, you had humility of heart and a real hunger to make the name of Jesus known. And you're seeking ways to be able to present his message uh, to a world with a, a wider audience. So if you have a, a heart to see people coming to faith in Christ, and there's somebody who knows how to, to put your articles in a magazine or to, to get a contract for you to be on radio or whatever because you really want Jesus to be known, uh, how can I fault somebody who's doing something like that for the glory of God? Problem is, is there are very few people that I am aware of who actually are that dead to self. There are too many, I think, and there are quite a number who are caught up with their own name, their own reputation, their own ministry. I mean, you go to their webpage and they don't even have anybody working on staff. It's just their face is them all the time. And uh, I think that that's, um, that's wrong. Jesus had people who went before him. We were speaking earlier about how that he had his apostles going before preparing for him so he'd enter into villages. And he went into the Samaritan village and the Samaritans would not welcome him in. And so that's when they said, uh, James and John said, would you have us to call fire down from heaven and uh, consume them? And that's why Jesus said, you don't know what spirit you are of. He, he wasn't here to destroy, but to save, right? So they were not his publicists, but they were an advanced team that were preparing for him to enter so he could bring the gospel. They weren't walking in saying, this is the James and John ministry. We want you to hear from us, we have so much. You see, Jesus has already had already filled them with the Spirit in a temporary way prior to Pentecost. They had cast out demons. They were they were um, they were uh, healing the sick. They were doing works of miracles and ministry. They could have begun to present themselves, but they didn't. They were offended because Jesus was being rejected. And so, on the one hand, if you have a heart to see Jesus who is uh, the reason for all things, if you have the heart to see him advanced, what could be wrong with that? But if it's you that people know and you overshadow him, then I say that's wrong. So what would be the difference between a marketing team and publicists? Well, in, in a sense, it depends on the motives. You know, a, a marketer, though, is marketing. You know, they're taking your talents and presenting them and getting dividends for it. A uh, publicist can be one who is just proclaiming and calling for people to know. But in, in, the, in the real world, the publicist is marketing. Right, right, exactly. And so, you know, I, I think word of mouth is great. When I first got saved, went to Calvary Chapel, didn't know how to present the gospel fully yet. I'm just saved. So I would say you need to come to Calvary Chapel because I knew that Lonnie Frisbee or Pastor Chuck would be able to present a message for people to hear. And so I wasn't marketing myself, but I didn't know how to present the one I wanted to, but I knew someone who could. From that angle, I was like a publicist in a sense. I was out there talking about Jesus and you guys need to come in here. But that I, I think is, is, is okay. But if I'm getting a commission to make John Mata famous or some person I like, some church famous, that's not right. That's what I wanted to get. We were talking about this earlier and we had mentioned and I thought, 
No, that's not, that's not oh, true. Oh, no, there are, there are people who do that. There are people who do that. Well, Pastor, thank you so much for sharing uh, on that, and, and may we always present the gospel of Jesus Christ and not of ourselves. And just a quick couple of things for our church audience. Uh, Wednesday, we have church service at 7 p.m. Pastor David's taking us through the book of Romans, and then we have our Sunday morning at 8.30, 10.45. Great opportunity for both services to invite your friends and family to come out and join us. Israel meeting, July 23rd, after second service in the sanctuary. Hope to see you guys there at our services. Pastor, thank you. Of course. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in.